Yo guys, Chris here, back in the video, and today I am going to be reacting uh, or reviewing the car list, uh, being all the vehicles, the planes, the different uh, specs to uh, the different cars, also the uh, boats and such as well. Uh, so these are the street race cars here. Now what you're going to see is just like how the crew runs, is that most of the cars uh, they have their original stock spec, like for instance, all these cars in the street are, they're completely stock at the moment. Uh, but then some of them will have like a monster truck raid. So, uh, those cars then will have a rally raid and a touring, you know, uh, touring spec as well. And what I've seen, because this is the second time of me recording this video, because the first time was actually a reaction, but I'd never actually turned on my audio, so that was pretty cool. Uh, but what I've seen so far is that the crew likes the Camaro, the 370, uh, 370Z, and the R34. Those three cars have the monster raid, or the monster truck raid. They have the touring raid. They have the rally raid. They have the uh, uh, rally cross raid as well. And yeah, they basically have everything in them uh, because I think those are the favorite cars. And uh, if there's like a loading screen or something, those three cars are probably going to be on it. Uh, but those were the street cars. Not a whole lot of hyper cars, which is a good thing. I mean, they're expensive too, but uh, the game's not about hyper cars. It's more of an arcade game, and uh, the whole point of the game is kind of, you know, customizing your car and a hyper car. You can't do much too uh, because, you know, it's already a hyper car. Uh, but I do like how it has a good amount of the Lamborghinis. Uh, Fords and the Paganis as well. I do like that. Uh, also, it looks like there's different locations. Like, this is one base camp, but then on the other part of the map, there's another base camp. Uh, so, I've also seen that. There's your Drag Race R34. I also forgot to say that all three of the cars were in Drag Race, as you see. The 370Z in there again. But like I said, that's how the crew runs. The crew make their game based on every car having a different spec to it, but those are the three that have all of them uh there's also uh the different 370z's being the nismo edition uh which is also pretty cool as you just saw there and same with the mustang they have a lot of the different mustangs like the fastback the ecoboost stuff like that uh so the cars they kind of repeat themselves out of the amount of different cars in this game uh it's probably around 100 uh which isn't the most but i mean it's more than need for speed so this is the monster truck raid wait till you see how some uh, we like how weird these cars are and these cars aren't even expensive either but they're probably not even that good uh but just look at the 370z edition i mean that's a gtr there look at that i mean it just looks so weird uh but that's definitely going to be cool to play with there these are the uh different planes uh, this is like the stock version of the plane uh, because you'll see later that there's more of the jet planes that are the faster ones uh, but the GV there looks pretty cool these planes don't seem too expensive I mean actually yeah they kind of do uh, but it depends it's a plane we're going to get around the map a lot quicker uh, hopefully these are the jet sprints the uh, different boats these ones aren't as fast but they seem to be a little more upgraded so it kind of seems like there's three stages but you see now they're moving to like a different part uh, this is like where the rally stuff is going to be. Uh, so I, I like how that is, although it could be annoying, who knows. But these are like the different rally raid cars, you know. They got the buggies, the Focus Escalade, uh, Camaro, 370Z again. Looks pretty cool, actually. I like the uh, Jeep and the F-150 there. It looks uh, pretty good. Seems like it would fit in the rally raid. There's the Camaro again. Looks pretty cool. Uh, Tarag, R34, looking fancy. Uh, as I may say myself, the Silverado in this game is actually really cool. Uh, Silverado's not in Forza or anything, so it's definitely uh, new, which is good. I'm always down for uh, new cars. And also, the ra part of the Rally Raider, these bikes for some reason. Uh, I'm going to call them bikes instead of motorcycles. I don't really... I mean, it's easier to say bikes. Uh, so, these are now your motocross. Four different options here. I'm sure this is going to be a part of the career or whatever uh, to have one of these. So, going to be fun there. And these are the Rally Cross. I like that Fair Lady. Same with the um, Countryman. Definitely going to get that 370Z again. Uh, but it seems like a lot of these cars are over 
overpriced. Like, I don't know about overpriced, but it just seems like I hope that we get like 10k per race or something. Uh, to the point where it's not going to be a huge grind. Uh, I sure hope that's not how it is. And uh, I'm sure maybe we could... Uh, this is not how it worked in the crew, but maybe if you wanted to buy a rally spec for a car, you wouldn't have to buy the individual car, but who knows. And they got the Formula 1 car in this game. That's all I could ask for. I mean, I'm a Formula 1 fan, uh, so that's definitely cool as well. I'm going to have to pick that up. And the power boats are right here. Uh, the V40, the offshore Mach 1, the 1414 looks as cool as well. I'm going to have to pick that one up. There's the offshore Mach 2, Blade Runner, V40R as well. A lot of cool power boats. And these are the touring cars. These are my favorite. They're not too expensive either. They're about average price to all the other cars in this game. Also, there's that other currency that we could use, but, you know, who knows uh, what that's going to be. But these cars are my favorite because. There's there's so much variety in them. It's kind of like it's the car with a body kit, and so that's definitely cool as well. And I wonder what kind of mods we're gonna be able to do this because it's pretty much already has the body kit. So uh, no, at least what I know is that there's no uh, licensed body kits yet. But there's so I, there probably is. I'm probably just being stupid right now. Uh, but I mean, there's so many different options anyway. So uh, I like my body kits, but when there's 72 different bumpers to choose from, uh, that's definitely a, a lot better, in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, this, these are the rest of the touring cars. GT3, uh, oh, the 458, Lago. some more of these Lamborghinis and Ferraris there. So yeah, that's going to be it. See you guys next time. Peace.